a lot of times, you know, you're spending a lot of time tuning everything, whether it's your bow, whether it's your arrows and your broadheads, make sure everything's dialed up. And then when I get them really dialed in, I kind of rank them. That's number one. I give him a little number one because he's been a proven performer when we're testing, we're shooting on the range, and uh, he just seems to be the most balanced. And and uh, that's just something I've always done that really helps me know that and give me confidence that I'm grabbing an arrow that I have spent time with and uh, that I've you know matched up to my bow because I think if you're shooting a fixed broadhead, one of the biggest things is making sure everything is, is matched up and tuned up. And, and I just think that's the biggest part of shooting a fixed blade broadhead because you know a fixed blade broadhead, it's, you know, there's gonna be people argue all the different points, but you've got more drag, you've got more surface already exposed than say a mechanical. Uh, that's that's tight and compact so therefore it's going to drift a little more but if you spend the time preparing and ensuring your bow is tuned and, and your arrows are tuned and balanced everything's going to fly better and uh, and hence the numbers for me so you can argue the debate fixed uh, mechanical I like them all in the right situation if you spend the time dialing it in it's going to pay off for you you know, mechanical broadheads, they deploy a lot of different ways. This is one that basically as the tip goes in, what you're going to see, it gets into the target and it's going to deploy like that. So the tip, you know, take that O-ring, roll it back, and all three of these are going to come out. This is the Blackout Malice. And I've got experience with this broadhead. I've been very impressed with the cutting edge and the absolute holes that this leaves. But once again, to me, it boils down to hitting an animal in the body cavity in the right spots to do the damage that you're looking for. Oops, so pretty good. <laughs> you can see how this one will deploy and the amount of cutting uh, edge that you're basically looking at. You know, roll that old ring back and when it does, all of these blades as they catch going in go back exactly like that. And that's the malice. And to me, that's a phenomenal broadhead. That's some bone crushing power in there, big cutting edge. Flies phenomenal. Uh, I really think it's, in my opinion, it's kind of a mix between a, what's a fixed and a mechanical. Now it operates like a mechanical. It does rely on that O-ring for it to be able to deploy and hold everything in, in line, ensure that O-ring could, could uh, have issues in flight. I have never seen this particular broadhead uh, have issues with it and you can see that it's got this great channel right here where the o-ring basically sets where when you have your blades up like that that it that it really rides in there well and it's it's not going to be easy for it to roll in one way or the other like you'll see some mechanicals where that o-ring could possibly roll out so this is this is a broadhead here that i've got a lot of confidence in